What's good, y'all? It's the point guy, Boss Life Wavy, back with another NBA 2K video. And in this video, I want to give y'all my 2K17 ideas. You know, my 2K17 wish list, what's, what I think they should add to the game, what I think they should remove, and all that type of stuff. You know, I know they've been working on 2K17 for a little while, but hopefully, it's still some ideas that we can give them that they can add to the game to make it a better experience for us players. And I'm gonna speak on this from my perspective because you know how I get down, man. I play Park, Pro Am, you know what I'm saying? 2K15, I was just in the wreck mainly. But uh, we're gonna start it off like this, man. Of course, we need them to either bring back rep or add rep to Pro Am. That's like my number one thing I want them to do because I had to split time between Park and Pro Am, you know what I'm saying? The only reason I started playing Pro Am is because, you know, at first, I thought like, okay, if you had a team in the top 100, you know, you'd be automatically, you know what I'm saying, in the road to the finals or help you, help benefit you to get into the road to the finals. But then, like I said, once I found out how that was, how it was set up, you know, how many hours and everything and the point system, I hated that. So, you know, and it didn't really fit with my schedule. I'll speak on that a little bit later, but yeah, they definitely have to add that to the pro end. I mean, either red to the pro or bring back wreck. Cause think about it, man. If y'all was really in the wreck, man, the wreck, like the wreck and park was the same thing, but it really wasn't, man. Cause the wreck had its own type of community, man. Like when it, when we was in the wreck like that in 2K15, when we first was getting it in, man. Like all, you know, what I'm saying the known legends will be out there probably from sunset. Legends would be on one court, then you had the top dudes from the Flyers on another court. And then you had a, a top dudes from Riven on the other court. You know, we in there streaking in the wreck, you know what I'm saying? Like, holding it down, you know what I'm saying? You'll see your homeboys in the wreck. You be like, that's so-and-so, oh, what's good, what? You know what I'm saying? If one dude leave, you pick the other one up. But, you know, it had a different, it had a community feel to it. But it, repping pro Am, I'd be cool with that, too, as well. Uh, You know, I feel like they need to have better dunk animations next year as well i see they got zach levine and uh, aaron gordon working on the dunks but i feel like 2k 15 dunks are way more flashy you know what i'm saying than uh the 2k 16 dunks you know i need a little bit more flash to the dunks man and also another thing man I, since i play point guard man they need to have better like passing animation they also have to let you determine how you want to make the pass man i get tired of when i'm trying to pass the ball I'm trying to get a bullet pass across the court like LeBron, and they just made me live pass it to my teammate. You know the closeout speed on 2K16 is so crazy that like <laughs> if it's a live pass, they defender gonna catch up with them real quick. You feel me? So you know it's messed up like that. I also feel like, of course they shouldn't have no cheese in the game, but patch six man, we was like moving like in the mud on the patch six man, but. As, as a, a good IQ 2K player, man, you, you know how to adjust. You know how to adjust to any patch. So, can't no patch stop me and the people I hoop with. But at the same time, man, it shouldn't be nothing like a speed boost. But it should be they should make sure they add something like a natural movement to where, like, you can get, like, a, a burst. You know what I'm saying? Say, for instance, I have a point guard next year. I need to, and if I want to be able to play like Westbrook, they need to let me play like Westbrook. You feel me? Also... I feel like they need to uh, somewhat adjust the uh, attribute caps because my player is 6'3", and he only got 85 speed, you feel me? I feel like at 6'3", my speed should at least be like a 92, you know what I'm saying? If they're not going to let me make it 95 or 99, it should at least be a 92, man. They need to also make sure that small fours ain't super slow, you know what I'm saying? My dog LeBron just won a championship. They need to make us... Let us make some LeBron. Not even, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not completely a LeBron James, but you know what I'm saying? At least, at least let us make a, our player at least 85% kind of like LeBron, like, you know what I'm saying? Athleticism, being able to do it all, you know what I'm saying? Playmaking and all that, you feel me? Uh, they need to do that, man. As well, I feel like. They need to add more throwback jerseys to the game. Because last year, they had a plethora of throwback jerseys. I remember around the, uh, December on 2K15, they started dropping throwback jerseys like every last Friday of the month, man. And they was coming with that heat, man. But this year, 
the only time they had only time they put throwback jerseys in the game is when the game came out you feel me and that's messed up because like i'm looking for them to drop another dominique wilkins jersey or anything you know what i'm saying and they don't even drop it you feel me so next year they need to do that they also need to add more uh sneakers to the game next year and a specific colorways for instance man you know lebron just want to start ring y'all might as well bless him and put every single signature shoe he ever put out in the game the lebron's 1 through 14 and even the nike soldiers you feel me also like put specific colorways out as well so people don't have to always go in there and customize them man you know like certain game, uh, shoes is like important man in history of the nba like make sure you have the flu games in there you feel me make sure you have all that just so we don't have to customize that right off the rip and uh as well man awesome uh pro amp stuff man next year for the road to the finals man make sure it ain't no no point system thing because that can go either way man because we'll be blowing somebody out in the wreck i mean see scoop not the wreck but in the program all day but if they quit out when we actually plan for the uh for road to the final spots then our points ain't really validated the right way or calculated in a good way that it should be you know what i'm saying so next year like make sure that the road to the finals actually consists of people in the top 100 man because when I actually grinded the pro am, man, we got into the top 25. But once I found out it wasn't no, that wasn't being in the top 25 didn't guarantee you a slot in the road to the final. I mean, that, that shit was for the birds, you feel me? And then on top of that, it's only certain days where you could play to qualify, you feel me? And then it's only like a 12 hour frame. Like now, if you make it a 24 hour uh, time frame, then it'll be more reasonable because sometimes you you and the people you hoop with y'all y'all schedules ain't actually the same thing so y'all have to uh link up when y'all can to get those games in so 12 hours might not work for everybody you feel me so they need to fix that next year and um i feel like for the my team people man they just need to let people buy mt period man like let people buy MT. 2K, y'all should sell MT on the game. Just like y'all sell VC, sell MT, man. Because you can't, I mean, all the VC, only VC can be used in my team to buy packs. But if somebody really wants that uh, particular player, man, they could, if y'all selling an MT, they might really uh, buy that MT. And that way, that'll make y'all even more money. So make sure y'all sell it. Because I know y'all uh, got there's other companies trying to sell the MT. But, you know, that's going kind of like through the black market route if y'all selling it y'all sales it'll be even better man the community will appreciate y'all for that as well uh, and also add good shot selection to my part you know what i'm saying because it's so many times that I, t I, I strive to take good shots at the park you know i'm watching the floor trying to make sure i make the best basketball iq decisions man so Make sure y'all add good shot selection so that can benefit people's teammate grade because that will help people's teammate grade up, go up even more. And as well, stop letting people make bad shots, man. Like, I'm tired of playing this game and I'm playing as good a defense as possible and a player will get bailed out by a horrible shot, man. And that's one of the worst ways to lose as well. But anyway, y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this, man. If y'all want me to add some more to this wish list, I got more ideas, but you know, I just had to fit this into this video, man. Hope y'all appreciated this. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, man. Roll to 30K on some real stuff. It's Boss Life Wavy signing out. Peace.